all right nice looking skies ahead but I wanted to do a quick uh, video have some um, people up in Ohio who are curious about how far out how far in the Dell webs are in this area what they're near so we are just outside the brand new Dell web right now that was what we were facing we just did the u-turn there uh, it's gonna be about 850 homes just starting to break ground soon just started signing contracts maybe a week or so ago uh, last month at the end of June this is July 2019 at the time of recording this but uh, we are headed out of the new Dell web we're gonna pass by Crosswater pass by Coastal Oaks pass by the old Dell web uh, towards where the kayak launches, Bakati's new kayak launch, and give you a good idea of what the drive in and out looks like around here. So to our left on that circle there, that is Crosswater. That's where like Heritage Trace and Liberty, uh, gosh, Heritage Trace, Freedom Landing, and Liberty, I'm gonna call it Cove. I can't remember for sure. <laughs> All the Americana names in there. That's where that is, Crosswater. And to the right over here, that is actually where the new Dell Web is. Stretching up this way. So we are going to go around this next circle. And to the left, if we took the circle uh, to the third exit, which would be a left-hand turn, then that would be where they're putting in the new crosswater pool. Over this way here, I'll drive around here so you can see there's a new uh, amenity center for crosswater going in this area here. Dog park, playground, all that good stuff. And if we had taken a right there, that takes us to where the paddle launch is. So there's a nice path you can take. I believe you can take your golf cart all the way down. I think it turns to gravel. Um, you ride a bike, walk, and uh, take your uh, kayaks down and enjoy the launch that takes you out into the Iguana Preserve. So we have this pretty stretch up here and on our left, we're actually going by the southern part of Coastal Oaks. We're going to go past their back gate soon. They have a uh, fairly new back gate that comes in and out there. And actually back there where the paddle launch and all that, that's where the old Del Webb, uh, Del Webb Ponte Vedra, as opposed to Del Webb Nocatee, Del Webb Ponte Vedra is 2,000 homes. Uh, just about completely sold out. They might have a couple carriage homes left in there as of recording this. But uh, by the time most of y'all are watching this, it'll be sold out uh, for new construction. The uh, back gate for Dewa Ponte Vedra, as that's called, was just behind us there by the launch. And to the left right here that we're just driving by, that is uh, Coastal Oaks back gate. So to our left right now, it's all Coastal Oaks area. see the paths on the left and right. Walk, golf cart, ride your bike. Up this straight stretch here. There are ways in some of these neighborhoods, uh, for instance, Coastal Oaks, there's some back ways to get out in, into the um, commercial areas here in Nocatee. So on the right ahead, that is Del Webb Ponte Vedra, the uh, first Del Webb, the one that's about sold out of new construction. And to the left is the main gate for Coastal Oaks. So coming through this area right here. If you were in Del Webb Ponte Vedra, you take a right out of the neighborhood. And this is your trip up to see where, um, you know, shopping, Publix, uh, wine shop, fire department, and up here on the right, Starling is actually a really cool um, facility. It has senior apartments, uh, 
apartment then it has assisted living apartments and it actually has a memory care unit so if need is ever there still within Nocatee right here you have those three facilities available to you so the fire department on the left or on the right to the left we have the spray and uh, splash park in Nocatee this is the main uh, facilities for Nocatee